What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of City Skylines. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we continue to develop our Cyber Mushroom over here. Our Cyber Mushroom o human Civilization. I don't know if there's a lot of things we need to accomplish in this episode, but at least we had isolated a couple of like weird variables that I'd been confused about over the last time. And I apologize if you've been telling me down in the comments, I've been batch recording with all of my series. I always do, because it's the only way I get to take days off. That's ultimately what it comes down to is I front line or I front load pretty heavily so that, you know, I can take weekends off with my family. But anyways, we had figured out that the commercial properties up here use a lot more educated workers than the low-density ones. And so I figured we'll take the low-density ones, we'll get rid of them, and we'll start applying some high-density commercial around. Because actually, we have a big commercial explosion taking place right now. When a commercial explosion happens in the middle of your cartoons, very frustrating. When it happens in the middle of your city, good thing. It means cha-ching, lots of money for you. Let's go back over here, and since we have no workers on that side, I'll probably dezone all of these, too. Yeah, they're all going out of business because they don't have enough workers, so... That's good. That's fine. I don't even care at all. That's... At least we figured the issue out so that I can continue to zone things properly now. And we can replace those with places that our people can go to get jobs. I feel bad. They got no spending money. They got nothing good going on in their lives right now. We need to fix that. We need to be good, benevolent, mayoral deities and make sure that that gets fixed. And so there's a little bit more space right there for them to occupy with dense commercial commercial zoning. This should all be, eh, this one's looking like it's having problems with two overeducated workers. That's okay, I'd rather have that than nobody able to work there, so still not enough workers, huh? Seven jobs available. Each one of these is popping in with like 11. It says that we still have a commercial need, so I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it as time goes along. Let's get rid of this pizza hut over here, or whatever that is. There we go. We'll eliminate those. We still need to have a few more people around to handle some of our residential areas. Or at least we need to put in more residential areas so that we can have more workers. So let's focus on doing that for right now. These people get to live right next to the power plant. I don't know if this is going to have weird reproductive harm or whatever. End up growing like a sixth wing or something because you hung up. Maybe you would able to project light from it though. Maybe be like, Hurrah! like your genitalia would just become like radiant in the light. They'd become like genitalia plus five or something. I don't know. It seems like it would work out. Either way, we're going to have some people live down by the power plant. We got this little zone right here that I think we can make work. Let me slot that in for development real fast. It'll be at the bare minimum. It'll be like a little trailer park area. What else can you do with? Where are all the garbage trucks? Who is picking up our trash? Where's the area with the trash problem? Building is burned down. Where's the area with the trash problem? That's illness. Okay. Trash problem. Wherefore art thou trash problem? These guys are unloading right now, so that would explain why they aren't really doing much. I think they're actually taking stuff over to this side of town, though. To the incineration plant, getting it front stocked. I don't see... Here, you get out of here. I don't see any trash floaties around anywhere. Buildings are constantly burning down around here. I think it's just because our transit system isn't allowing fire trucks to get around as rapidly as they might need to. We've got illness, we've got... Sickness over here. Is it on this side? Citizens are sick. Well, where is our Where is our closest hospital? We have clinics all over the place. What are they just not handling it right now? A bunch of ambulances coming out here. Okay, so they're taking care of it right now. It's gonna take them a little bit of time, but I think if we give it a second, it should clear out maybe. Got another truck coming out to here. Maybe it was just like a pile-up type thing. I don't know. I closed and I reopened the game. And I've noticed that when you close and reopen the game, it seems to refresh some of your issues. And like new sets of things pop up. I don't know exactly how it interacts with the in-game universe, but... I don't know why somebody was complaining about the trash. The entire area seems to be okay. There's no more room here. Oh, well then unfill it real fast. That one's 28%. That one's 27%. Let's put in some incinerators on this side of town, shall we? Maybe those will do it right there. That might be overkill for right now, but I'd rather have overkill than underkill. So we'll leave that with what it's doing right now. These should all be able to unload to any other site. Hopefully these ones right here. We need to add some water. There it is, because obviously we like to float our trash. That's how we deliver it everywhere. We put it in pipes and we float it, because it is by far the most efficient place. Our city is not much to look at. I'm really proud of this overpass, though, right here. I like this one. This one makes me happy to look at. I don't know why. It just sort of does. On this side, we still have, like, pandemic-level stuff going on. I don't know why the ambulances are lollygagging, but it might be a good idea. Since we are now well appraised of the problem, I... We've got so many already, though. We got one right there. We got one right there. 
Maybe it's just a problem with the high-rises. Maybe you need, like, a real hospital in here somewhere to deal with these high-rises. That might be our issue. As the building rises, so too does the sickness brood within. Well, if we've got brooding sicknesses around, maybe putting in a real hospital is what I should do. And then I should demolish some of these other ones. Food for thought, I guess. So there it is. Now that our food for thought is done, let's take this medical clinic. And I'm actually going to relocate it over to another area instead of bulldozing it. There we go. There'll be no bulls dozing right now. I can't I can't deal with these shenanigans. I cannot deal with them right now. However, hopefully this place will actually find some use. I don't know. Let's go and look at So is this the one that's picking up most of the slack because we still have six citizens over here. Citizens are sick. Well, you would think there would be deployment of ambulances or something to, like, help out with that. I don't know. Maybe they're not actually sick until they get the red sickness right there, and then it sends an ambulance out. Maybe that's how it works. Why is public health so poor right here? Oh, it's because of the trash incinerator. It's because of the incinerator. I need to put this in a better position. Maybe a position down. It's going to make trash collection a little bit weird in this area. But it gets them away from the residential zone. Kinda. It might work better right there. I think the pollutants might be getting a little bit too high. They are collecting more than enough garbage to get this whole thing going though, but... I think we may have to maybe take this somewhere else. I'm a little bit... Well, I don't know. Like, there are options right now, and I know what I should do to deal with this, but either way, there are going to be repercussions just based on the way that the highway and everything has been orchestrated. I suppose we could do an overpass over on this side and make, like, a landfill area over here, and that would ignore the problem, or at least get rid of the problem for now. Hopefully, they start to recover. I feel kind of bad about it. There should be ambulances on the way. Take the sick people away. What happens when the ambulance gets there? Let's watch. Let's watch and find out. I've never actually watched one deploy. Deploy! All EMTs go forth! The ambulances are shaped a little bit funny. Oh, there's actually EMTs that go in the building. That's cool. That's really, really awesome. I have a friend who's an EMT, and it seems like it's really, really satisfying work. He really loves his job. Like, it's a job where you get to get out there, and, like, every single day you get to say that you're, like, helping people. Like, your job is directly, like, saving lives and making sure people, you know, live another day. He seems really, really satisfied with the job. And honestly, if you can find a job that you're satisfied with in life, I love jobs like that, though. It's not like, I wouldn't say that it's altruistic, I guess. But it's a job where we've actually got numbers falling off right now, weirdly enough. Why is that happening? Oh, it's because I bulldozed a couple of buildings to make the hospital. And then I didn't speed time back up. That's got to be what it is. Yeah, that's got to be what we were taking care of right there. Oh, maybe not. We're still, like, losing citizens. Are they dying then of sickness? Like, pandemic over here? It's unfortunate. However, it can't be helped. The multimedia center does not have enough workers. Let's focus on... We've still got residential filling out on this side. I don't think it's so terrible of a plan. If we just sort of line the front right here. With some high density, maybe. We don't need it, though. What we actually need is still commercial, which is a strange thing to think. Because the commercial is having problems filling in all of its workers. But it's still saying that we need more commercial. So maybe the commercial needs to go to a different area, perhaps? Like somewhere down in here, possibly? I don't know. Move that around slightly? I guess we don't have to pay attention to every single dot and tittle. But in this case, we need to figure out where this commercial needs to go. It says that there's a medium demand. That doesn't look like a medium demand. That looks like a sliver to me, but... You know what? Maybe I'm not acclimated with sliver-shaped objects right now. It's been a while since I've played Magic the Gathering. We'll drop in another one right there, but I don't think it's on this side of town that we need it. I think it's probably on the other side of town. So, there it is. Don't really know what much else to say about it. We just kind of got to, like, wait this one out, and if bad things are going to happen, let bad things happen. On this side, we need to start thinking about developing this over here. And so I wanted to get some roads all nice and fastened in for right now. We have so much money... And such a huge surplus that I'm not really tripping about it right now. I think that we're doing very, very well as far as the game is concerned. I 
I guess I don't feel bad about my progress is what I'm saying right now. Go ahead. I really wish that you could, like, angle these better. I really sincerely do. Let me go for a straight run right here. Yeah, that's still super sketchy. Oh, well. Can't be helped. And then on this side, we've got a little bit of room right there. And so I figure we have this guy come off this way. We page it on up. Until we have room. And then we continue the plan as we always do. And so there it is. We'll have these come back over this way. And meet up super sexy style. That's just normal style with a lot more kissing though. It's got like that double cheek kissy thing that some people do. You all know what I mean. Where you're like mwah, mwah when you meet somebody. My girlfriend's family's Italian and they all do it. At least part of her family's Italian and they all do that. Where it's like mwah. It took some getting used to. It's not that I'm uncomfortable with boundaries or whatever. Well, I am actually. I have a very, I have a weird personal bubble. I have a weird personal bubble. I can admit to it. I should be honest right now with you as my viewer. I have a personal bubble. It took me a little while to get used to, but it wasn't so bad. That looks awful, but you know what? What have we ever designed in this entire area that has looked good? So I figure we kind of just like let it go for right now and it'll probably turn out okay. These are all liquidating their inventories, which is good because actually we need to fill those things up right there. 25, 40, where are you going? 93% full? Awesome. So we'll get that done right there. I really hate that overpass and I'm disappointed with myself for not making it look nicer. Let's play with it more, shall we? I just, I don't know if I could live with that one right there. I don't know if I can live with it. Let's page that on up. You know, I don't think that the space actually is occupied right now. It's not looking super occupado to me. Not even a little occupado. We'll page that down and maybe that'll make it look a little bit better. Maybe that's what this whole thing needs. Yeah, that looks a lot less severe. It's still ugly as sin, but, you know, we're not going to be eyeballing any sin right now anyways. And so as this goes along, I'm probably just going to do the same thing over here that I did... These areas all seem to be functioning fine with regards. It's very odd that the sickness is so pervasive over here. It's got to just be the leftovers from the incinerator. I'll just let the EMTs handle their thing and hopefully... Seven ambulances in use, so we're treating people. Treating people as well as possible. Nobody would want to go to a hospital where they treat people badly. You just go in there and they're just like, you know what, you're a nobody and your life is going nowhere. And you'd be like, oh, now I'm sick and unhappy. <laughs> Oh, these are the things that I think about, my friends. These are the things that I think about. And so there it is. Let's go ahead and design the next part of town. We've been doing a lot of, like, swoopily do type stuff, so I think this time around, I'm going to make it all very, very edgy. Yeah, that looks right to me. We've got a lot of money to spend, so I'm just going to go for it. I don't even care. I could have made that loop around, but eh. I want this one to be angular. It works for me. And so that's going to be more than enough space to get our next land development going. Although I kind of wanted this one to be square shaped. I'm a little bit disappointed with myself right now. I've been making a lot of ovals lately. Maybe I'll just take all that back. Yep. Taking it back. That's it. We're making a square city. We're making a square grid city. We've got more than enough money. I can waste money. That's fine. I mean, this is really, really good for the bulldozer driver. So think about the way that we're stimulating the, bull driver, or the bulldozer driver economy right now. It's going pretty well. If you're a bulldozer driver... You're killing it right now, making that guap. All right, so let's get our let's get our money right right now. And so I think what I would like to do, you, well, let's bring these out to right here. And once I get them lined up properly, there we go. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go. Bam! And then we're not going to... No, no curves. No curves right now. No curves. Oh, never mind. That's a freeway. Uh, go away. More tax spender wastefulness. There we go. Okay. So now we should be good. I'm going to put you right here. And I'm going to put you over here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, little road. Enjoy. Enjoy, little parallelogram. I'm going to put you over here. You over here. That seems nice. You up this way. I don't know. We can make like... That's got like a guy with a really, really big nose right now. 
Or we could turn it into a Pac-Man ghost. How about that? That seems pretty awesome. Let's make it into a Pac-Man ghost. Yeah. Pac-Man ghost. What happened right there? Oh, that's awesome. It gave us like an automatic little thingamadoobie. Now it's a Pac-Man ghost. Gotta decide if it's gonna be like Inky Blinky or whoever. I guess I could have made this more zigzaggy if we were gonna do that. But it might negatively affect the way... People won't want to live in Pac-Man Town, unfortunately. They won't want to pack into Pac-Man Town, and that'll suck because I want them to be part of Pac-Man Town. Pac-Man Town seems super awesome. Seems like the kind of place where you could hang out and just be like, Wappa, wappa, wappa! And nobody would care. Everybody... Everybody would be totally cool with it. There's another hiccup. So enjoy that, noble viewer. Hmm. What else do I want to do right now? Let's go medium roads. Hooray! Medium roads. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna have a medium road. Uh, uh. That's, that's the song of medium roads. That doesn't look like a Pac-Man ghost anymore. It looks like kind of like a slouchy beanie hat, like all the cool kids wear, except with like a little backboard type thing in the back. Hmm. Someday I will have a slouchy beanie cap and I will be cool as well. But for now, for now, no coolness allowed. No coolness allowed. So that'll go right there. God, our city is... Our city's growing. It's not much to look at, but I'm pretty happy with it. We have unemployment issues, unfortunately. That makes me sad. I wish we didn't have unemployment issues. Maybe, just maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want to know what I want to do right now. This whole area kind of needs a little bit of help. It's got missing workers, which is unfortunate. People's been abducted left and right. We have a serious crime problem in this area. Let's just continue to build up the suburbs, I guess. Keep them popping on up. Let's take a look at our educational system, too, and make sure that, like... Education is flowing around. All these houses are new, so... There we go. Another elementary school over there will do it. Did I already put in another... Where are my colleges at? Oh, we have a college way over there. Well, hell. Put in a college over here somewhere that will affect all of this little cityscape. And make all of them smarter. And make them have more edumacations so that they will not chew on random objects any longer. They will stop fashioning their implements from sticks and rocks tied crudely around the end of said sticks. On maybe to a notch if they're particularly clever. We all good over here? We're kind of good over here. Not really. I don't know if I should start developing this yet. Or if I should just like let this over here do its thing. Eh. What's the worst that could happen? High density housing. And right there. And then also we'll do some low density housing on that side. Even though we don't need it. And then we'll start off in the other area. It looks like we need office buildings and a little bit of mercantile right now. Well, good. There's your office buildings, and there is your mercantile. Never complain again to me, little meters. Never again, never again, little meters, can you be allowed to complain. And those should start to spring up in just a moment. Because obviously we have space for them right now. Let me speed the game up for a second when we take a look at all this. I'll probably go... Let's just go single roads in from right here. Take it down by one so that it doesn't mess with the grid lines over there. But I think that should be enough. It should work. There we go, just as we did previously for more suburban development. Aren't you excited? Everyone loves suburban development. It is the pinnacle of modern home design. Go over to here, there we are. Hurrah! Welcome to your new suburb. Jack, Bob, Jill, how do you enjoy the place? Well, we like it just fine. I like to pull my pants up to my armpits in this neighborhood for the rest of my life and also grow old and complain about the fact that things are changing and that scares me. Let's see here. I don't feel like our city has any particular like structure or point, but still I'm happy with it as it sits right now. Hey, what is this? Oh, we got a cruise ship. It brought you brought that entire ship for like 11 people. Oh, they're going to Santa Vegas. That's just Las Vegas for Santa. That's all that it is. It's got a lot more. I mean, the hookers there are almost all elves because the elves got to have some time off too. The slot machines much more snow themed. So if you're into snowflakes and things, I and also if I guess if you're into elves, that would be the place to go. That would be the place. Let's start this out first. With two of these little guys. 
And then we'll just make like a little industrial elbow over here. Not very much, just a little bit. Just like, eh, there it is. Industrial, industrial. And that'll just have to work for right now. Meanwhile, in the suburbs, we started development. Oh, that's high-density housing. We don't want that right now. No siree, Bob. Not even a little bit of that high-density stuff. I want the small-town feeling with the big-town resources. There we go. So paint this all in. This might be easier with the paint tool. Ah. Well, there it is. Problem solved. Yay, housing. No, don't do that. That'll make people sad. They'll get upset, and then they'll get sick, and then bad things will happen to us. On this side, we need to come up with a way to keep fires from happening. So let's give ourselves a lovely little fire truck right down... In oh, unfortunately, the fire truck won't make... Oh, no. Well, I need the fire truck to make it to the suburbs and also to the industrial area. Can we manage that? There we go. We also need a big old hospital, and we'll just drop that right in the center of town so that if anybody needs to get themselves all nice and cured up, they can do it right here. A mortuary well positioned so that people's dead bodies can be carted away and disposed of without the pesky family members getting in the way. On this side, maybe we'll just do a police station. Why not? We've got surplus budget. <laughs> oh, God. On this side, a lovely little elementary school for Timmy and Bobby and Jill. And then maybe a high school as well to continue the... Oh man, nobody can get into this part of town. How did I mess that up? Badly would be the answer. There you go. We'll pipeline everybody onto this road right here. So that they all have to feed in through that spot. Even though I feel like this is probably going to backfire and end horribly. And then we'll do like one little highway over here. Because that's how we like to ride. Yay! Now it looks like our slouchy beanie cat. It looks like our... <laughs> it looks like our Pac-Man ghost is peeing, kind of. Onto the highway. Just be like, ah, take that, highway people. You deserve it. Horrible highway people. They're like, we're not that bad. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. Let's bulldoze some buildings. Mmm. bull a dozen. I don't know why they call it bulldozing. Because it seems to have nothing to do with sleeping. I mean, the dozing part... Is dozing an old word that was reappropriated for sleeping? What is this guy doing? Garbage is piled up! Maybe we should send ourselves a garbage truck on over to this location. Garbage truck, would you like to pick up their trash right now? Or are we all nice and maxed out? How's that going? Hold on. Thirteen out of twenty-seven garbage trucks in use. I'm going to assume that they're out there and just like moving along. We're getting twelve megawatts from that? Not bad. Not bad at all. A good spot to break off the episode so that we can develop this in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of City Skylines. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. I hope you're still enjoying the series. No idea how long we're going to keep this going. I, I haven't made the decision just yet. Probably until we hit like the highest threshold. And then after that we'll be like, meh. And we'll go do something else. Because once I have no, I, once I have no longer like something, once I no longer have. There we go. I don't, I don't know why my sentence was flipping around being backwards right there. Once I no longer have anything to aspire to. I usually, I, I find it hard to make goals for myself. So there it is. Hi to everybody.